So, to continue where we left off, we've identified what temporal discounting is for. It's to help explain the psychological differences between relatively patient people and impatient people. That's at least a good starting point. And what we want is a formula that allows us to sort of mathematically model the difference between these types of people, right? Can we come up with such a formula? And this is where the idea of a discount rate comes up. What we're going to do is we're going to discount a certain amount for each unit of time that elapses before the individual person gets to enjoy the good. Everyone tends to have a positive discount rate, and that's the way of representing that everyone would prefer things sooner rather than later. But people who have higher discount rates have a more urgent preference for things to be enjoyed sooner. They find things diminish in value more dramatically as time goes on. So the process is really very simple, right? So suppose we have something some function to assign a value to getting chocolate, right? And what you do is you put into this uh, function a number of chocolates, right? And it will give you some quantity that represents the value, right? Now, just to make it sort of straightforward, we're going to give these numerical quantities, and you can think of these as like equivalent to dollar amounts, okay? So your, your chocolate function, if I give you one chocolate, Right now, let's say that's $1. So V of one chocolate at T equals zero equals $1, right? And similarly, two chocolates at T equals zero, that's gonna be $2. We'll just suppose that you increase the number of chocolates and the, the value goes up in a, perfect, in a corresponding linear fashion. But how do we then represent the value of one chocolate at t equals one? Right? Well, the thought is you start out, I'll just ignore this case of two chocolates so we're not distracted. You start out with the value of a chocolate now, and because you've gone forward one unit of time, you multiply by one minus your discount rate once. Okay, so the calculation is simply this. It's Let's say we're going to use a 5% discount rate. So it's 1 times 1 minus 5%. That is 1 times 0 0.95, which is equal to 0 0.95. So for a person with a 5% discount rate, one chocolate in a week's time is worth only 95 cents, whereas a chocolate right now is worth a dollar. What about a chocolate in two weeks time? Well now we go one multiplied by, and we have to discount first for one week, and then you have to discount again for the second week. Okay. Now what is that come to, let's try and be a bit tricky here, and okay. equals 1 times 0 0.95 times 0 0.95. That turns out to equal 90 cents, ignoring some decimal places. Now, consider a person who is given the chance of two chocolates at t equals 2, or one chocolate at t equals zero, and we're using this 5% discounting function. Well then, we know that they're gonna value this as two times 0 0.9, that is $1.80. One chocolate, right now, that's only worth $1. Which is greater? This is the greater figure, so, this is a way of representing a relatively patient person, a person for whom, even though the chocolate has been discounted for the two weeks we've had to wait in time before we get to enjoy it, 
two chocolates still is more valuable than one chocolate enjoyed right now. Right? So 5% is consistent with our patient person, right? It's not the only discount rate we could use to represent a patient person, but at least in this instance, I tried out 5% and it happened to give a figure that still was consistent with the patient person's attitude. How might we capture then the relatively impatient person? Let's just hide that. Let's now consider, so we're gonna have one chocolate at t equals zero, or two chocolates at t equals two. Let's consider a 40% discount rate. Well then, the value of this and the value of that is equal to simply one dollar. This is going to be equal to one times one minus forty percent times one minus forty percent. That's equal to one times zero point six times zero point six. Oh, sorry, I said one. I should have said, of course, two, because we're talking about two chocolates here, right? Two chocolates multiplied by the discount rate twice because we've gone for two units of time. What's that equal to? It turns out to be equal to 72 cents. Out of 72 cents and one dollar, which is greater? One dollar, obviously. So this... 40% discount rate captures the attitude of a person who says one chocolate at t equals zero is better than two chocolates at t equals two. The value diminishes so quickly over time that even though the quantity has doubled, the overall value has diminished to be less because of the distance in time.